All right, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to do an oil change on a 5.7 liter V8 Durango RT. And then this model is a 2015. This is pretty much what you're gonna need here. The five quarts of the oil you pick, which for this model is gonna be 5W20 motor oil. So you're, this car takes seven quarts, so you're gonna need to buy the five quarts plus the two additional quarts. You will need a filter. This is the model number here. Other than that, you are gonna need a socket wrench, an extension, this is like a three inch extension, and a 13 millimeter socket. And then you're also going to need an oil filter wrench as well. This one just attaches to the bottom of to your socket. And I can show you that more later on when we get to it. First step. Oh yeah, funnel as well too. You're going to need it at the end. The first step, you're going to just go ahead and take the oil cap off the top of the engine this one's gonna be pretty stuck all right so once you remove the oil cap on top of the engine you're going to go to the bottom of the car and remove the oil drain bolt which is a 13 millimeter so for this is a three inch extension here put that on the socket to remove the drain bolt put that on and then now we're gonna loosen the bolt so make sure you have a oil drain catcher because once you remove the 13 millimeter drain plug you're going to need it the oil is going to pour out right away fast so make sure you have that next to you somewhere so once you loosen that it comes right out so you're going to go under the center area the front center area of the car there's going to be a hole here like a square hole you're going to find this bolt right here this is the drain plug bolt which is the 13 millimeter here hard to see but yeah 13 millimeter you're going to just loosen this bolt and once you get it loose make sure you have the drain bucket the oil catcher bucket handy so you can it's going to pour out pretty fast and then just fill it up you going so it's pretty much once you loosen the 13 millimeter bolt here you're going to put that bolt aside make sure you don't lose it obviously all the oil is going to drain out and you pretty much just wait for it to completely finish draining. So it's going to be it's showing like a, a big stream there and then it's going to get smaller and smaller and eventually just become little drops. And that's how you know it's done. Take a pop. Now you're going to go ahead and put the drain plug back. Make sure this little orange gasket is on the bottom of it. If it's not, it's possibly stuck on the bottom of the car. So that's important to check for. Go ahead, just place that right back in there. Make it a little hand tight. And then go ahead and grab your socket. And fully tighten it down. Don't spill. All right. Put it on tighten. I'll tighten it down pretty good. so next you're going to need grab your oil filter wrench oil filter tool grab your same socket that you were using with the 13 the extension preferably because you need to go up in there this is the ones i like to use preferably the other ones are kind of hard with the bands the rubber bands so then you just stick this in there and then as you loosen, so it's gonna be like, it's gonna be 
loose. Just as an example, it's gonna be in the bottom of the car like this. You push it down to size and as you loosen, it grips on, it tightens and allows you to twist it completely off. Okay guys, so the location of the oil filter is gonna be right on this model here. I believe, yeah, for the Durango's, this is gonna be the oil drain plug, the oil pan, and right above it, if you look up, you're gonna see the oil filter right there. So you'll see it right here generally in the same area. And then you're gonna do, like I said, just put the wrench on, twist it off, and go from there. All right, so pretty much I had no space here. I had to lift the car up a little bit. I got the oil filter all the way loose with this here. And now I'm gonna just take it off. Here, let me see. Take this. Go ahead, put your oil catch can under. And you're gonna go up in there and hand tighten, hand loosen the rest of the oil filter up. As you can see, it's already kind of loose, it's starting to drip. So I'm gonna just take the rest off with my hand and let it all drain in. All right, so next, once you get the oil filter off completely, you're gonna make sure the gasket is attached, this rubber rubber little seal is attached to the old gasket here, because if, if it's not there and it's missing, then it's gonna be stuck inside the car where the oil filter goes, so you have to double check that. Once you get that completely off, all the oil's gonna drain. Once you see no more drainage, you can remove the pan. Put that shit to the side. And all that. To the side. All right, so here's how your new filter is going to look. That's the gasket I was talking about here. It's important to get a little bit of oil, clean oil, fresh oil. Get some on your finger. Put it on the gasket here. Put it on the top of the new gasket. And it's, this is going to help for just keeping it on there snug and for the next time you need to remove this filter on your next oil change. Put this cap back on. Go back under here. Oh. Let me set this up so we can hopefully see. And as I stated, you needed to use the oil. It's going to go right in that area right there. Let me see if you can see my finger right there. My finger's pointing to. It's kind of blurry. Right there. Screw this back on here. And then hand tighten it. You only need to use the tool, the oil filter tool, when you're loosening it. But when you... Put the new filter back on, hand tighten it, and you're good. That's good enough. And so the new filter is back on. I hand tighten it completely down, and that's all you need. Go ahead and just clean up like any 
remaining like oil spill that you see here on the drain bowl in the filter area. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that down a little bit, get it clean, and we should be good to go as far as from underneath the car. So just go ahead, put the funnel in. Pour your oil in slowly. And once you pour this whole five quarts in, you just check it accordingly. Like let the engine run for like 20 seconds, turn it off, let the engine cool down. And then once it cools down, after about like 10, like 15 minutes or so, you just check the dipstick, see where the oil's at, and then you can pour your other two quarts of oil in.